hello guys it's swing with damara here welcome to today's tutorial today i'll be showing you guys how to make this simple maxi dress which can also be used as an inner dress if you have seen my previous tutorial i made a tutorial on how to make the two-in-one abada bubu which can also be worn as a kimono using an ankara fabric and this is what i made for the inner if you haven't seen that tutorial i'll just be putting the link in my description box so you can just go ahead and check that out now with that being said make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't and let's just dive right into this tutorial this fabric i'll be using to create this is called a soft scuba and i'll be using three inches to do this you can use any fabric which you have available okay so to know how many inches to put your fabric on food first you need to divide your hip measurements by four and then you add two inches to that these two inches is for the stitching allowance and for the extra ease because this is a maxi dress then you are going to multiply that by two and then go ahead and put it on food my hip measurement divided by four is 12 inches added extra two inches which is making it 14 as you can see here okay now i have both the front and the back piece folded the same way because i won't be inserting a zipper to the back the first thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and roll a straight a starting line at the top of your fabric here now this starting line you just rolled now is going to serve as your shoulder line okay now from this shoulder line you are going to mark your shoulder to your bust point for me is 11.5 inches i'm just going to connect a straight line like this the next point you mark is your shoulder to your waistline and for me it's 16 inches just connect it like i'm doing here after marking the waistline you are going to take the measurement of your waistline to your hip line now for me my waist to my hip line is 9 inches you can take your own measurements to know how many your own is after doing that you're also going to place your tape at the starting line and take the full length of your fabric or how long you want your dress to be for me i'll be using 60 inches so i'm just going to mark that there also now after doing that coming to the neck i'm just going to label this this here is my shoulder this is the boss point waistline hip line and what i have down there is the length the next thing we are going to do now is to mark out the neckline now the standard neckline which is usually used is three inches but because i'm creating a boat shaped neckline i'll be marking five inches instead because i want it to be wider than normal okay from that point i'm going to come down by two inches now i'm going to connect these two points together using a curve just like this after doing that also from the center front you are going to mark half of your shoulder measurement for me it is 8.5 inches from that point come down by one inch for your shoulder slope our shoulder is not straight as you already know so now connect this point into the neckline the next thing you will do is to get your chest line measurement and to get the chest line all you need to do is to divide your bust measurement by six and add 1.5 to that after doing mine i had about eight inches so starting from the shoulder slope just mark down eight inches or watch whatever you got for yours also on the chest line i'm going to mark half of my shoulder measurement so i can get a straight line to the shoulder slope now divide what you have from your shoulder slope to the chest line by two coming from that point by 0 0.5 inch on the chest line mark quarter of your bust measurement then connect it from that point into the midpoint there and then back into the shoulder slope this is going to give you your armhole curve now that you've gotten that on your chest line now you already marked the bust measurement divided by four you will be adding extra one inch for ease because this is a maxi dress and then another inch for stitching allowance take the full measurement of what you have there and mark it on the bust point also then on the waistline mark quarter of your waist measurement add one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance and then connect this into the chest line just like this on the hip line also mark quarter of your hip measurement add one inch for ease and one inch for stitching allowance connect that back into the straight into the waistline now what you have here at the hip line just connect it all the way to the length of your dress just like i'm doing here 
done with this what you will do now is just to go ahead and cut this out while cutting this out make sure you add about 0 0.5 inch stitching allowance to this neckline also to the shoulder line then go ahead and cut out every other part following the lines you drew after cutting it out you can see how easy that is and that's all the next thing you'll be doing now is to cut out a facing for both the front and the back and to cut out the facing i have this piece of fabric here which i'll be using to cut out the facing this is my facing here and i've already placed it on fold so i'm just going to bring in my fabric and place it making sure that the folded parts are together like this i'll go ahead and trim this out following the neckline the shoulder line and then the armhole i'll also be cutting out another piece because we have the front and the back piece Now after doing that, to attach the facing to the main fabric, I'm going to get the midpoint of the neckline here. And I'll also be getting the midpoint of my facing. Then I'm going to place the notched parts together just like this and I'll be pinning it down. Now you go to your machine and you stitch this down using 0.5 inch stitching allowance. After stitching it down, you can see how beautiful this came out. Now, if you notice here, I've already gone ahead to stitch whatever I have down towards the lining, which means after stitching down the neck together, you take it and stitch it down towards the lining. This is going to help the stitch to stay in place, okay? And to help the the facing not to be coming out from the back or from the front of your dress now after doing that you are going to bring in the front and the back piece and what we'll be doing here is to join them together at the shoulders so to join them together at the shoulders all you need to do is to place the shoulders together like this and just use one of the facing to cover up everything pin it down and then stitch this down on your machine using 0.5 inch stitching allowance after stitching it down you can see how clean this is this will help to give you a seamless finish okay that was why we did it the way we did it it will help to give you a seamless finish now that you are done with that go ahead now next thing we'll be doing is to finish up the neck the armhole okay since we'll not be attaching any sleeve to this i decided to finish it off with the bias I realized I didn't have a color that matched my fabric. So if you have a color that matched your fabric, please go ahead and use that, okay? The reason why I didn't really bother is because I'll be wearing this inside my um, Abada Bubu, which can also be worn as a kimono. To finish this off, I'm going to put my bias on the right side of the fabric and I'm going to make a stitch following the line there all the way to the end of my armhole. I'll cut off the excess and then I'm going to turn it over to the wrong side. Just watch the way I'm doing this to know exactly how to go about it. Then I'm going to stitch that down all the way to the end of my armhole also. After doing that, I'm just going to cut out any loose thread and you can see how beautiful this looks. You can see what we have here. This is what yours should look like. Now turn this over to the wrong side and what we'll be doing here is to finish up the sides and to hem the bottom part of this dress. Now to finish up the sides, I'll go ahead and just pin down one side of my dress just to illustrate to you guys. After pinning it down, you'll be stitching this down using the stitching allowance. For me, it was one inch stitching allowance. Make sure to stitch down the both sides of your dress and then hem the ends of your dress. And that is all for this guys we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope this tutorial was really helpful to you i'll see you guys in my next tutorial 